everybody, so I want to walk you through uh, 10 of my favorite makeup brushes of all time. Um, I've had my makeup on now for the last few hours and so actually it's a good time because I thought what I'd do is basically touch up my makeup using the brushes that I love. First thing I'm going to do is just add a little lip balm and actually I'm going to use my finger so I'm just using the Le Mer, uh lip balm which is staggeringly expensive like gulp expensive. I remember buying this first time at the airport and purchasing it and going how much but truly my favorite lip balm. Um, okay so first thing I'm going to do is touch up my concealer. Um, yeah usually throughout the day if I've got a chance or I'm going on somewhere else I'll usually I'll touch up my concealer and so I'm going to use the Hourglass Vanish Concealer that recently launched and the way I like to apply this is just by dabbing three little dots under the eye and then I'm going to introduce to you my favourite concealer brush um, that launched with the concealer earlier this year. Um, you can see here that it has this kind of unique dome-like shape or half moon shape if you will. Um, it's about the thickness of the tip of your uh, finger and I've just really loved using this brush to do my concealer because all you do is basically pat 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 and sort of push the concealer in underneath the eye a few times and it blends it so quickly and so beautifully. Um, I will say the formulation of this concealer is 10 out of 10. It's fantastic because not only does it really cover any blemishes or dark areas or under eye circles, um, but it really is lovely and hydrating as well. So it leaves this sort of very dewy, um, kind of radiant finish underneath your eyes. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done blending. I always like to just pat with my finger a little bit. But yeah, the half moon shape of this really allows you to work the concealer up into the waterline of your eye and it hugs the contour of your eye shape. I've also found myself using this brush as like an all over foundation brush when, you know, I'm just kind of applying concealer on the go. So I'll then usually just use it around the nose and again, the shape really you know, you can turn it around, move the brush around to fit into all of the, you know, contours of our face. So that is brush number one. Currently my absolute favorite brush that I can't live without. The next brush I'm gonna show you is a brush that I've used uh, for quite a few years now. It is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection. Um, it's an all over, there's an all over brush here for uh, foundation. I actually sometimes use it even for blush. Um, and then on the end, there's a really nice fluffy dome shape for concealer. Um, so I'm going to just apply a little bit more concealer where I need it. And then you can see I'm just going to buff it in. And again, the brush really kind of takes away the hard work of blending for you. Um, I see this brush on nearly every makeup artist's table. Everybody that has it all universally says it's one of their absolute favorites. And I do love a dual ended brush uh, just for the kind of quickness of being able to spin things around and easy to find you're not rummaging around trying to find your other brush great for traveling um, and as I mentioned I do love to use this brush for blusher as well it's that perfect kind of dome circular shape for applying um, any kind of cream blushes or uh, cream bronzers to the face as well. The next brush I'm going to show is another brush from Hourglass. It's worth mentioning that all of the Hourglass brushes are vegan and cruelty free and the bristles have incredible pickup which um, is something that you don't always find on vegan and cruelty free brushes. I actually love to use this brush for powder so I'm going to use a little bit of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I actually really do love to apply my powder with a small pinpoint brush like this because I find like I really, with powder, just wanna hit those areas that have a little bit of shine. I like my skin to look luminous and glowy. 
um, and I never want a sort of powdery finish complexion. So this brush really allows me to kind of get into all of the contours of my face and pinpoint them directly. So my next favourite is this brush from Suku. Suku is a Japanese brand and I love to use this brush for powder when I want to really dust it all over my face. I usually don't use this brush for bronzer or for blusher because of the way the bristles pick up the powder in quite a light way and the way it sort of dusts very lightly across the face. I don't find it picks up the formulation as well to kind of really apply bronzer or blusher but if you like to layer your bronzer or blusher very lightly and build, this is a good brush for you. The next brush that I've had for quite a while now is another It Cosmetics brush and I don't know what you would really call this. I guess the fun of brushes is that you can really figure out how you like to use them but it's another dual ended brush. I often use this for eyeliner. You can see on here that the slanted tip uh, which is great for um, any kind of like gel eyeliner or pencil eyeliner that you kind of want to blur, uh, blend out across your eye. And it has these sort of almost like teeth in the end. You can see how it's like jagged. And I find it really, really helpful and easy to use to get a precision line. And then on the other side here, you can see there's this bent tip. Uh, which again is really fabulous for being able to blend any eyeliner close to the waterline. But most recently I've actually been using this tip for concealer. So what I do is I will pick up the concealer on, this t on the tip of the brush and then really just pinpoint exactly onto the blemish um, and tap it around just on the head of the spot and then using my next favourite brush uh, this sort of fluffy concealer brush I'll sort of I will then blend around the outside of uh, the blemish and pat to this brush um, and you might have to go back in a couple of times to really make sure it's concealed and then don't forget to powder the area at the end so you want to really set the concealer from that you've added to the skin um, so again taking a, a, t a, a fine tipped brush like the one I used earlier for powder and again just really tapping the powder onto the area. I actually bought this after a makeup artist Monica Blunder covered um, a lot of spots on me one night for the red carpet and it's really great for feathering out kind of concealer very gently. So I'm going to take a question now um, from at Alexi uh, Sturmak and they ask how many makeup brushes do I really need? It seems like there's one for every little thing. Um, you know what, it's a really good question actually. I really believe that with probably 8 to 10 brushes you can really do everything that you need to do. You don't need a ton. I do love to collect makeup brushes and I pick them up all over the place and makeup artists give them to me and brands give them to me and I have my favourites but when I travel I probably really only take about 10 brushes with me. Um, I think that you really want to concentrate uh, purchasing brushes that are going to really help blend foundation, concealers, um, and then uh, eye brushes, of course, are going to be really important. And then obviously, really great bl uh, brush for your blusher or for your bronzer. But I find that I use a lot of my brushes multi-purpose. So if I use them for foundation, sometimes I find that I use them for blusher and bronzer. Um, and if I use a brush on my eye, sometimes I use it for my powder. So you really can get a lot of uh, use out of just one brush. Uh, there's a very famous makeup artist in Paris that I worked with a few years ago, and I forget his name, but he literally turns up with, I think, one to three brushes in his kit, and he does your entire makeup with just three brushes. So I think that goes to show that less is more. Um, I remember buying my first makeup brushes from MAC and I bought a little tiny kit uh, when I was 16 years old at the airport and I still have the brushes uh, today. Um, I believe that if you look after them right and you wash them and you take care of them, your brushes should really, really last. But of course, it is worth um, investing in a good brand and um, you know asking the experts on brushes that they think are the best and that will give you the most multi-purpose use. So I hope that answers your question.
next brush. Um, this is Pat McGrath Labs Buffer 003 brush. Um, her brushes are all made in Japan. And I love this brush because typically, I've seen these brushes before, and typically people use them for foundation. I'm not sure what they call these brushes, but you see on the outer, on the outer edge, the, brush, the bristles are one length and, and a different texture than the brushes in the middle. And so people, or artists that I've worked with before in the past will use these brushes for typically for foundation uh, or anything liquid, but I like to use this brush for cream or uh, for cream blusher or bronzer. So I'm going to use a little bit of this cream blush from Kaya Weiss, which I've been using over the last few weeks and am obsessed with. Because the brush is so feathery, it really allows you to sort of buff the product in beautifully. Um, I don't think you can apply too much. And if you do, you can blend really easily. And I love the way it makes the product sit on your face. I personally have used these type of brushes before in the past for foundation and don't love the way it's, they, it makes the foundation kind of slide around your face. And you can often see the bristle um, marks or lines on your face afterwards. So I, if I do apply my foundation with a brush, I like to apply it with something a little bit more dense, like the It Cosmetics uh, brush. And then I've talked about this brush a lot. This is a, a Rowan brush. Again, it's multi-purpose, uh, dual-purpose brush. This is such a fantastic brush for eyeshadow. It's got the circular domed end here, which is quite sturdy. And then on the other end, it's got this very fine tip. And so for eyeshadow, uh, particularly cream eyeshadow, and I, this was designed for to be used in combination with the Rowan eyeshadow quad, you can really pick up the product on the end of this bristle really well. And then it's it's almost like using your finger a little bit on your for your eyeshadow, just in the way that it's shaped and the sturdiness of it. And then using the little tipped end, you can really kind of get into the root of your lashes. But actually, this is a great concealer brush too, as I spoke about earlier. You know, it's got this fantastic fine tip on one end. Um, and then this end, I found myself using to blend out concealer as well. So a, a brush that could do eyes, could do concealer. So this is definitely um, a brush I would recommend, multi-purpose brush. Um, another brush the Surratt brush. Surratt does the most incredible brushes. Everything about these brushes is luxurious. The handle, the finish, the bristles, I believe they're made in Japan. Um, and I love to use this brush for powder highlights. So I'm going to take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm just going to apply the highlight here to the top of my cheeks. It's that perfect size for highlight where you can really uh, get to the top of your cheekbones without the product dropping into your blusher or bronzer. It's incredibly soft. Um, and my last brush is another brush from Surratt. This is what I would call like a, it's almost like a painter's, uh, an artist's brush, painter's brush. You can see here it's got this really tapered um, tip to it. And I was introduced to this brush by another makeup artist of mine, Flory White. And if you're somebody that likes to do a kind of really beautiful winged out eyeshadow look, I find this brush to do all the hard work for you. Um, it picks up products very lightly, so you're going to want to build with this brush. But I think that that is uh, why I love it so much. And that is the way that Flory uses it on me when I have a little bit more of a winged out, more dramatic look. And I feel like because the bristles are so soft, it never picks up too much powder. It's really about building with this brush. And I have to tell you, it is the most soft and relaxing thing to fill across the lids of your eyes. And so on that note, I think I'm gonna go and lie down on my bed because everybody's out of the house for five minutes and I'm going to run this across the lids of my eyes and do some deep breathing.
All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope that that video was informative. I'd love to hear about what your favorite brushes are, of course. Um, and anybody that's used any of these brushes, please do comment and let me know what your thoughts are. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And I send you a big kiss.